Good day, fucking ladies and fucking gentlemen. It's the Gibor Report, the most reliable source for news on the internet. The most professional source of news on the internet, sir. Fuck it. Alright. It's been a while. I've only done one of these because I've been out there trying to have an actual fucking life. Which is harder than it sounds, but fuck it, we're out here. Um how do you jump back into a new season? You're supposed to have like fanfare and all that fucking shit. If I had the blunt, I would have rolled one, but I didn't buy weed. So, fuck it. Alright. Um, <laughs> as the cat jail pussy. Anyway, the um, first thing I want to talk about is the Twitter ban, which is. If you are alive, you probably know about it already. Um, probably ban Twitter because. They took down his post or some shit like that, which is crazy. It's like if you are married and your wife says, "Honey, I don't think that's a good idea," and then you sew her mouth shut. That's like, come on, man. I don't understand. I understand actually. Though. Nigeria is a fucked up place, and I want to say that Jonathan was a fucked up president. I know in hindsight. He seems like an angel, but Jonathan was really fucked up. That's why a lot of people went for Buhari. Because we thought, okay, what can be worse than Jonathan? Spoiler alert. It's like in the movies, whenever you say, what's the worst that can happen? <clears throat> it always happens. So that's exactly what we have with Buhari. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like something is going to break very soon, though. I feel like it's going to be like war or some shit. And I can't fight. I'm going to my grandma's house in the village. <laughs> To grow yams and shit, bitches. I'll see that when it's over. Um, next thing I want to talk about is okay, like in the spirit of the same conversation. In fact, everything in Nigeria is the same conversation. There was a protest day before yesterday, that was June 12th. Today is June 14th, Monday. Whenever I release this, I don't give a fuck. Whenever I put this out, but there was a protest on Democracy Day, which is ironic enough, many own. But then the government was trying to stop us from protesting on Democracy Day. The government who protested against the last president. <laughs> Come on, Nigeria, man. You don't have to be the worst <laughs> country in the world. It's not a competition. Nobody's dragging it with you. Please, please. Like, the price of everything has gone up. They're trying to make it harder to leave the country. They're claiming that we're losing too many people. Nigga. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Nigga. Come on, man. Um... Everything is going up. I had like a Derek of rights like one K or some shit. Nigga. <laughs> but I have to fight though. I will sacrifice myself to kill Buhari and the government, but I'm not doing that war shit with we have to kill like a hundred people. Nigga, that's too much. But if you want I can sacrifice my life and give right. Just get me the phones, let me give to my mama. You know what the fuck it is. Um what else? What else on the agenda? What else do I want to talk about? The fucking <laughs> part to Buhari. Buhari is a Fulani man who is not really from Nigeria. And he's trying to instate a law that allows Fulani people who are not really from Nigeria to graze all over Nigeria. And like that's how colonization starts, man. That's how conquering people starts. That's how. That's like some Viking shit, bro. Like some fucking Viking shit. So. I don't know, but I know a lot of Southern governors have been fighting back, so so fuck we out here. You know what it is. South, South, strong head. Even the Eastern governors. I don't want to be like a tribalist, but a lot of them it seems like Yoruba people are more with the Fulanis than they are with us, which is cool, I guess. But it's just it will be hard to divide the country. <laughs> it will be like this. But I've just been a sweet man if it was here and here. But fuck it, whatever happens, happens. Um. I'm going to try and do more. Try and make it more like more consistent, I guess, and do more of this because the whole point of this shit is it's like talking with your homie, man. Talking with your guy about stuff that happens in the country. I feel like it's my opportunity or my platform to talk to you guys out there. 
and you guys seem to like it the last time so let's see how it goes this year as you can see the setup is a little weird but i'm trying to figure shit out i don't have the wonderful green screen backdrop i'm looking at you and make a luxifica <laughs> anyway yeah this has been the first episode of the second season which you know what it is love yourself or don't to give the fuck treat people right or don't to give the fuck chase your dreams or don't to give the fuck we're all going to be dead in 50 years anyway which i can't wait for if i'm going to be honest with you <laughs> I want to be the richest man in the whole world and, and be the greatest musician and be the biggest writer of all time. And I will do all those things. But I still want to leave this fucking piece of shit planet. So we'll see how that goes. Shout out, love y'all. And yeah, that's it. Also, my dress alone is fucked now. What do you little?